not found them. And you guys wonder why I don't go make recordings very often. <laughs> I can't even go live. I was trying to go live on YouTube. Because that's a rare occasion. It's kind of like the groundhog popping up twice a year. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so hoarse. One, I just finished this shawl yesterday. I call it the Easter shawl. Although it is a pattern by Kristen Omdahl. I put up a short video yesterday to show it. Cindy from Lulu's Treasure Trove is blessing me with something she's never made before. And she made something that came out so gorgeous and I don't want to tell you yet. So I'm going to bless her with my Easter shawl. In the meantime, I started another shawl. This is kind of weird. I was having some trouble with it. But um, it's almost like a C2C. And I'll tell you what, it grows quick. Because you're gaining like two on each end. So it grows quick. So I have some things to show you. Oh, uh, let's see. Now, Mishi's crochet nook. I love her to pieces. She's an absolute sweetheart. Gotta go go to Mishi's, M-I-C-H-I-E-S, crochet nook. Show her some love. Go support 2024. Who came up with that? Was that Ivy B or Kim's Crochet? Ivy B maybe? But anyway, I won this book from her. It's called Knotted Lovies. But it, look, it's a thick book, lots of pattern. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make some cute stuff. Oh, this is perfect because I wanna try to make a couple things for the three kids next door, a couple things. Three things for the kids next door for Easter Sunday. I usually always make them something. Thank you so much, Mishi. Oh, you're a doll. You really are. I enjoy your, I enjoy your life so much. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope there's good audio, audio. And I also won from Mama G. I got two balls of the famous ice Picasso yarn. This is soft as soft as melted butter. That's how. This is soft, soft, soft. Unbelievable. Oh, this is gorgeous. I don't know if I'll do anything with it because it's only two balls. I may just put it, you know, in a place of honor and look at it. <laughs> and what else do we get? Speaking of ice orders, I did place a small order from ice myself. I didn't go crazy looking at all the colors because there's so many colors. All I know is I fell in love, and I'm not a brown person, really. I'm one for the light colors, I'm for jewel colors, colors. I love color. But I, I don't know, something about this yarn just kind of looked yummy. It reminded me, I guess, of hot chocolate or coffee or something. Dark coffee. Let's see if we can get this open. Oh, they package it a whole lot better than Hobby does. Hobby's yarn. First order I placed was a few hundred dollars. The guy delivers it, it's like nine o'clock at night, he comes walking up behind me. Scared the heck out of me, and it's dark, it's night. I'm in my yard, I'm coming home probably from work. And he was walking up behind me, I never heard him. And uh, he's got a ripped bag, and he's got a big smile on his face because he's happy he finally got it to me. I don't know what was missing because I don't remember getting an invoice in there. And it was like the first check I'd gotten from uh, YouTube in quite a while. And it just so happened to fall on the Black Friday weekend. So yeah, I went to Hobby. I didn't know about ice back then. Oh yeah, this is pretty. Oh, I feel a sneeze. <coughs> See, it must be true. Pardon me. Pardon me, excuse me. Yes, this is what's kind of like a variegated brown. And I'll tell you what, it's like a lot of, lot of yarn, and it was less than $10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. <laughs> I got projects going on, I won't be using this for a while. But I wanted to show you eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, oh my gosh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I got 24 balls of this wonderful, you can see the colors, kind of like a variegated brown. It just looks yummy. Oh, this is soft too. Oh, look at, oh yeah. Very soft. Let's see if I can see how much yardage. It's called Flame Duo. It's hard to read. Glasses and no glasses. I'm blind, period. This is a three weight, I believe. Oh, here we go. Make it a little easier to take the stupid label off. I just don't want any yarn barf. Yarn barf. Oh, Mama G says it's so funny. I love Mama G. Big hugs, Mama G. And nom nom nom, still Lepithecus, Lepithecus. I call him the Greek cat. Doesn't have a drop of Greek blood, but I love his name. Okay, what do we got here? Well, I'll be darned. I guess I'll just have to go to the website and look it up. You know what? Another thing I do, I'll take a picture of my phone and then zoom in on it. <laughs> I learned that trick when I couldn't get the number off the back of my router, my internet router, to get logged in and everything. By the way, I want to just say thank you very much for stopping over there. Watch my shenanigans and listen to me babble for a few minutes. But today is Tuesday and the time is 3.36 p.m. And my, my favorite sailor, she comes on usually around 4.15. I always check her community tab. So how do you like my hair? I got it from a lady in China. Uh, so what else do we have? Oh, oh, I think I've got... Hershey's order, and then I want to show you some stitch markers. Uh, I think this is Hershey's. This box is heavy. Whoa! You know, I, I put it in here to keep everything away from the cats. Ah! Excuse me, sorry about that. Like, this room isn't all that big. I need more room in my room. Or I need a bigger house. <laughs> this is from... Hershners, they had a sale. All you ladies are enablers. Every time somebody says, hey, there's a sale on Hershners. There's a sale on Mary Maxim. Joanne's is having a sale. I'm on it. <laughs> I mean, I gotta go look. Doesn't mean I'm gonna buy anything. I go look, but I always end up buying because you can't resist a good sale. I mean, this. I always say it's not like produce, it's not going to spoil. I'm going to put it away, and when I'm ready to use it, I will use it. Oh my goodness, we got to fight to get in it. Ah! At least I remembered the scissors. Because I was almost, I was almost forgot, oh I did, I forgot um, the Picasso yarn from Mama G. And then the computer wanted me to log in through my Galaxy Note, which was in my bedroom. So I gotta go on back. It took me forever to get in. I wanted to go live on YouTube. But Chrome needs updating and it's not updating. I don't know. I couldn't get the thing to go live. Because I figured I'd, you know, go live for a few minutes before my favorite sailor, Ola Joe, comes on. Ola Joe, the crocheting sailor. If you've not heard of her, go show her some love because she is awesome. We go, we go cruising on a Ocean liner every week, every Tuesday. And we go to different countries. We check out their yarn shops. We get history about the country. I mean, if they taught geography in school that good, I would have been an A-plus student. In school, my mother, I remember when I was a kid, my mom said, uh, what, what, what ocean is the As is it, it's in Asbury Park? I'm like, the Pacific Ocean. She cracked up. She said, no, it's the Atlantic Ocean. This shows you how much attention I paid in school. Even though I was smart, a bright kid, I just ADD, you know. So what do we get? 
Oh yeah, the ice yard, by the way, which I think eight dollars and ninety-seven cents for twenty-four balls of yarn. The shipping was twenty-two dollars. So, but when you put the figures together and divide it by twenty-four, you see the yarn is for what a dollar and change, less than a dollar a ball. So I placed one small order first, just to kind of get the feel for it. And the yarn is yummy. Oh, look what I got from, oh my God, look what I got. Ah, Caron Cloud Cakes. Oh, which one is this, cinnamon? Cinnamon and cinnamon, cinnamon and cinnamon. So my dad and I used to do that. He, he'd I'd say cinnamon, he'd go cinnamon. So I so go cinnamon, and he go cinnamon, and then I, I, I mess it up finally. When I did mess it up, he would just laugh. He got me, cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Oh yeah, this one is. This is a four-way color me bold. This is delicious. This is a cloud cake. That is really nice. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of yarn in this cake. Oh yeah, I got. Looks like I've got three of these. Oh yeah, that's enough to make something. We got some. We got some serious garbage going on here. See, it's always better to have too much. In the U.S. twelve ninety nine. Now you know darn well I did not pay twelve ninety nine for that. Heck no. It would cost a hundred dollars to make a blanket, and then people want to know why you charge so much for crochet. And they don't even think about the cost of the yarn and all of the hours of work that goes into making something. I mean, I might have my neighbors say I'm having a baby shower in a week. But, ah! <laughs> they got the bulky yarn and big hawk and go nuts trying to whip up at least a baby blanket, you know? But you're making baby outfits and dresses, those things take time. This is eight and a half ounces, 760 yards. Oh, and it's soft, and it smells good. And I don't know what do we got here. It must have been on sale. Himalaya Angel yarn. So we know this has got to be very soft. This looks to be a cream color, angel. It's just color lot number. Himalaya. It is a uh, sixty-four, I think, for sixty-four wool type acrylic. It's wool type acrylic. I don't want to open it. Oh, excuse me, get the hair. Don't want to open it up because it's white or close enough and it keeps dust off of it. It is 36% poly, polyamide, nylon and acrylic. It's a very, very soft yarn. Nice for baby dresses and baby booties and things like that. Because I like making baby stuff. So we've got three of these big boys. <laughs> oh, and then they had the, this is gold sparkly. And there's nine packs of three. I've got two of them. These were on sale. This is what, date nights? I made, um, I was working on a bag of day shawl, but I was a little underwhelmed with the pattern. And it's not the pattern, it was just she used a different yarn, which made it look much better. So I used the one whole ball of um, this stuff and had a great drape to it. I used, I think I used a size K look. So I turned it into a lovely neckerchief. It's a little triangle neckerchief you could wear with the front with the brooch on it, or wear it off to the side, or turn it around and just have, you know, you know what a neckerchief is. It's just like, it's a baby's, it's a baby shawl. So I think, I think I got every, finally got every day. I just wanted to go live, but again, I gotta watch the time. It's quarter to four. I don't wanna miss the boat. Who was the last, a couple weeks ago, one of the ladies missed a boat. She had to get a helicopter. <laughs> get a helicopter to get to the ship. We already left port. <laughs> yes, we have a bartender on board. Visit other countries and other yarn shops. Learn a little bit about the history. Ola Joe, the crocheting sailor. 
love her to bits. I am a boatswain. And when you come on board, I usually ask her, Captain, permission to, permission to come aboard. And we will get permission granted. And I always greet my mateys, my mates with, oh, hi, mate. We really get into it, you know? I get into it. And now the other girl ladies are getting into it. So we do, we have a lot of fun. But I think I remember, oh, I'm telling you, this Picasso is so soft. I'm just now I'm going to have to zoom to find a magnifying glass because I don't remember how many yards it was. But I know I bought enough to make something with. So let's say it's 270 yards. Multiply that by 24. I should be able to make something very soft and delicious with this. I'm big on wearables. I love wearables. I love shawls. And with um, this easy breezy shawl, you have the option. You can use any any weight yarn you want. It's and it's a one row repeat. Anybody can make it. It's the simplest thing in the world. And I, I love this shawl. I've I've got one hanging up on the wall over there. Um, but I need to make a, a in retro colors. But I need an I cord. Because if you do the I cord down the front, now you've turned a shawl into a poncho, and it won't fall off your shoulders. And I just it's really pretty. I feel very pretty and feminine in it. And I'm not usually a pastel person, but I do. I like to dress appropriately for the seasons. So this reminds me of hyacinths, lilacs, forsythias, all the beautiful spring flowers. Now the Bradford pear trees are all in full bloom, but they're white. There's no white in this. And somebody said, put made a good point. The, this is like a flowering vine. The, the tie that I made. I'm like, how creative and clever is that? I didn't think to call it a flowering vine, and that's what she did. So yeah, this, and I like this if you want, you can hide your neck a little bit. You look younger when people can't see your neck is falling down. <laughs> Need a neck lift. Anyway, I'm going to try to Try to edit this and, and not take forever doing it. I'm a little techno challenge. I couldn't even go live. I mean, how frustrating is that? But I do want to say thank you for stopping by. Once I get a little better with this tech stuff, and I can do a tutorial and show you more stuff. And I mean, I got lots of stuff to show. And yeah, there's this new pattern. I think it's, her name is Sarah Sachs. And I was having a heck of a time because I've never done C to C before. So I wasn't sure am I supposed to turn, or am I supposed to flip it over? But I think I figured it out because they start at the bottom and work your way up. And this is Red Heart, roll with it in the color Eclipse. So it's sparkly. My favorite color is sparkle. So I just want to just say thank you so much for stopping by and visit me and see what I have. Oh yeah, oh, 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 oh. I brought in some stitch markers. Where did I put them? I, I, I wanted to see some of the beautiful, beautiful stitch markers I made. Now I sent some to our friend Juan, the yarn addict. He can't find them. I'm in tears. I'm like, what? These are for your mom. I mean, think I made five beautiful handcrafted stitch markers. Knowing yarn, knowing Juan, it's it's somewhere under yarn. Go through the yarn, Juan. <laughs> Obi Wan. <laughs> yeah, me in tears, buddy. You got me crying. I feel so hurt. I'm like, oh, mine's not good enough. He doesn't love me. He doesn't love me. <laughs> oh yeah, I can be such a baby. Okay. I can't find the stitch markers. I know I brought them in, but I was also trying to keep away from the cats. So I then I'll have more to show you next time. I have gotten so many wonderful. Well, here they are. Here they are. Asking, you shall receive. Thank you, Lord. Now I don't make all of them with lobster claws because they cost more, but. I know some people prefer them because they may have trouble with their hands or arthritis and whatnot. Okay, it's a pretty one. This has got the regular earring clip. Bobbling around like crazy. I got the old lady shakes. That's 
much. I, I think a lot of that is from the stroke I had a few years ago. But I didn't shake that much when I drank. <laughs> Maybe I should go back to drinking. I'll be the steady, steady Eddie again. <laughs> yeah, beer is fattening. There we go. There's the spiritual based. A little kitty cat. I think that's a kitty cat paw. Yes, it is. There's a little kitty cat paw and a star and a cross. And this has got a lobster claw class. People ask me how much. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I have to kind of break down how much. Like, because I know that the lobster claws are more expensive. This one is also faith based. It says uh, something on it. It says, believe. Believe in miracles. Da -da -da -da. I better not sing. Break your ears or I'll get a copyright strike. And now this is a lobster claw. Uh, and it looks got a pretty rainbow on the bottom, which I thought was so pretty if you could see the colors. Uh, playing the wrong way. Got a rainbow. I love rainbows. I think the very first shawl I ever made was a fiber spider lapping wave shawl and I did it with a super saver and favorite. Winston Salem was having a big pride event. So I said, oh, I, gotta, I know just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a shawl in rainbow colors. And yes, I got a lot of compliments. And the people that used to own the house here are gay. I think they're married now. So they were there. Oh man, I got the biggest hug. Here's another one with a little kitty cat paw. Meow, 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 meow. Cat crazy, I know it. I'm down to three cats. At one time I had six. But I was also working. I had a friend coming in to scoop litter boxes. So things are a little bit different now. Above my vehement protest, God refuses to allow me to stop aging. What has this got on it? It's got a, I think this has got a Pegasus. The winged, the winged horse, yes. Pegasus and the letter H. And some pretty glass beads. And this has got the regular earring clip. I don't think I make two exactly alike, to be honest with you. I'm just like, oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Here's one with beads, and again, it's the, uh, the tag that says, oh, this tag says, beautiful. Some of them are very faith-based. Now, the ones I made for Mama Wilma, I didn't want to say, because I didn't want to spoil the surprise, but they're all very faith-based with angels, and put a lot of work into them. Because especially with the old lady shaking hands, it's not easy working with little jump rings and there goes a bead. Pew, there goes another bead. Damn it. I have a, a bingo marker, a magnetic bingo marker picker-upper. I use that to try to pick up jump rings and anything metal that went flying across the room. If I could find it. Or at least under the bed. There's another one. Oh, there's more. There's more. Oh, look. There's more. So I really don't know what the going rate is. I do know it would cost about $5 and change to mail them. I do use a small padded envelope. You know, like one of the bubble wrapped envelopes and it's still $5 and change. You know, I, I don't know if they go by weight. Here's one, I want to I'm just save this one for Cindy Lulu. This has got a bird on it. And she lost her precious Ozzy, her cockatiel that she's just, I had forever and I was just devastated for it, devastated. I had two cockatiels. I know, I've got video footage of them. They used to love to ride on my ceiling fan. <laughs> have it on low and they'd be like, like a circus on the, on the carousel. <laughs> Sitting up there going round and round and round. I'm very slow mode, of course. And of course, if they wanted to fly off, they could fly off. I don't. I, I didn't clip. I didn't clip their wings all that often. Cause 
Yeah, they, I, ne I never wanted to get out. If they got out of the house, they, they might fly away. Buddy, I, I lost him for a week in the neighborhood. This one says, imagine. Buddy boy, who was actually a girl, I found that out when he started laying eggs. He got out of the house and was in the neighborhood flying around for a week. And uh, I guess I put out flyers or posters. I mean, this is before the internet, really. It's back in the early 90s. But a neighbor, and I was in bed, I'm crying my heart out. Because so I had walked next door to my neighbor's house and I had Buddy Boy on my shoulders. And then he claps his hands on purpose to scare Buddy Boy. And Buddy Boy took off. Now, I was able to whistle at that time, just like Buddy Boy. I could mimic his whistle perfectly. And that's what I would do. I drove around that our little uh, neighborhood and I'd whistle and I'd hear him whistle back. So I kind of get in class, let's let him know, Mommy's here, where are you? And I guess I, he got caught when he landed on the edge of a lady's pool because he needed a drink of water. And a neighbor, another neighbor who heard about it uh, put a big note on my door. I was having trouble opening my door. Like, what's going on? She had a huge piece of paper. We found your cockatiel. Here I was up in bed crying until my eyes were swollen. I'm sobbing. Oh, it's terrible. I just love my little buddy boy. And um, then I bought him a companion. And I named her Angel. It turns out Angel was a boy. Buddy boy was a girl. But they, they mate, but Angel must have been shooting blanks. But Angel knew her name. She would call me Mommy. Back then, I used to be able to whistle perfectly, so I taught Angel the theme song for the Beverly, not the Beverly Hillbillies, yeah, the Beverly Hillbillies and um, Andy Griffith Show. And then I did the, the Laurel and Hardy theme. And when, when I can whistle perfectly and on key, and I used to make a cassette tape, it was 45 minutes on one side. I put the cassette tape in the recorder and I, when I left the house, I closed the door. Everything's quiet except for that cassette playing. And that angel surprised me one day, I'd come up, Mommy, Mommy, like, oh my God, you learned. And then she started whistling perfectly. And then when my husband and I separated and I was out, out of the house for a year, he had everything that I owned. It was heartbreaking. He had my cats, he had my birds. Well, the man couldn't whistle worth a lick. When I got my birds back, I don't know what the heck Angel was whistling, but it sure didn't sound like what she used to whistle. Obviously, the ex-husband was tone deaf. There's a whole lot of other things he was too, but we won't go there. <laughs> it's a long time ago. It's in the past. Makuna Matata, it's in the past. Anyway. <laughs> It's a beautiful day here in Walnut Cove, North Kakalaki. I want to say thank you so much for stopping by to visit with me. I hope you leave me a thumbs up. That's important for the uh, Al Gore rhythms, as Mama G calls it. YouTube Al Gore rhythms. Um, and then, and I, when I see that you give me a thumbs up, I'm like, oh, they like me. They really like me. So that's nice to, that's nice to see. We all improve. We all appreciate positive feedback. So I thank you for coming by and spending a little time. And when I can figure out how to go live and find a time slot when I'm not stepping on anyone's toes, I had time today because Pro Joe Corner, our beautiful Laura, she only did a short premiere. I'm like, whoa, we got we got a block of space I can jump in. Okay, 3:58. It's getting close to Ola Joe time. She got the, I'm sure she's firing up the engines on that ship right now, getting things ready. I used to love seeing the ships coming in when I was at Moppy, which was Military Ocean Terminal, Terminal Bay on. Oh my God, I was there for the 4th of July uh, over that period of time. And they come in, squirting out red, white, and blue water. And the ships are blowing the most massive air horns you ever heard. And there's a Statue of Liberty. And being I'm so patriotic, Oh, my heart would just swell until I thought it was going to burst. One of the happiest times of my life. It really was. And I always loved a man in a uniform. And I'm crazy about Navy men, I tell you. I always did love a Navy man. 
I've got stories about Navy men from when I was a little girl, but I'll tell you that another time. They're all good. They're good stories. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you so much for stopping by and listening to me all wired it up with coffee and battling on and hope I made you smile. And I wish you a very blessed and safe, happy, healthy day. And prayers for any of you that are in need of them. We have uh, Denisha Brittle on her community page. You can go there and ask for prayer requests for anyone in need and prayers that you know for people in need or for yourself. And we all pray for each other. We all show support for each other. That's what the crochet community is about. And I love you all again, so thank you so much. Mwah. I used to do that at the end of my TV show, too, but I think I was more demonstrative. But if I did that right now, I'd knock something over. <laughs> See you later.